about 1.7 million lives are lost due to water contamination and poor sanitation worldwide. In order to tackle this problem and invert millions of dollars in economic and social damages, we have developed an advanced water treatment technology. It delivers a game-changing water sanitation solutions for sustainable use of Earth's water resources. We've been working on uh, a global sanitation uh, problem uh, that's been a major concern of the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. We started our research uh, in 2011. We received a prize from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation in 2012. And since that time, we have developed various prototypes uh, for advanced uh, toilet systems that can be utilized in the developing world. So we needed uh, a final uh, polishing uh, unit for our water that may be discharged to the environment and also uh, the possibility of utilizing the water that's uh, part of the ongoing uh, recirculating treatment system to be used in emergencies as a source of water. So the advanced electrochemical treatment system uh, has been developed. It's on display uh, at this uh, expo, and it is capable of uh, doing the final uh, step in water treatment, allowing that water to be discharged to the environment or in emergency situations to be utilized as a drinking water source. It can be also used to uh, treat natural sources of water in the environment uh, that may be contaminated. Uh, it will remove the chemical contaminants and disinfect the water, allowing the water to be uh, directly used uh, by uh, people in underdeveloped parts of the world. This technology can convert any traditional toilet into a sustainable, self-sufficient toilet. The excess water can be reused for flushing the system washing hands, or irrigation. This project is a collaborative product of an international team of scientists and engineers. Our lab is focused on the development of novel assays to detect and quantify pathogen contaminations in water samples. And we have a number of gold standard methods that we use to validate these new assays. The system is uh, maintained and run by electronic components. This allows for autonomous operation and collection. We do this uh, and achieve this uh, despite low power consumption. The idea was to build the first prototype at a small scale in order to gauge the performance of the technology. As the results were promising, we decided to go big and create a full-scale prototype that can be hooked up to any toilet like a plug-and-play system. The prototyping for Ultron was done using CAD softwares and 3D printers. This allows us to try different designs and adjust the prototype from one day to another. While scaling up, we ensured that the materials we chose were easily available and cost-effective, but also durable and long-lasting. We first modeled the components of the prototype using CAD software, and then fabricated them using 3D printers, laser cutters, and other fabrication tools. In parallel, we also had to coordinate with various transport companies, fabricators, and suppliers to bring together all the various components that were required to build a complex product like this. The system that we've uh, developed can be used as a standalone, a standalone system, as a portable water treatment system, or it could be attached to a more advanced uh, scheme of wastewater treatment as a final polishing unit, uh, or it could be used uh, directly to treat uh, uh, urine coming out of a waterless urinal, and then uh, recycling that water uh, for various uh, purposes.